I restarted your core systems. You weren't making any sense. And to be quite honest, I'm fucking terrified right now. But anyway, without you, I'm not going anywhere, so... Welcome back. Okay, first off... Let's try this again. Sam, voice authenticate. Dr. Emma Fisher, 140412. Okay, that sounds good to me. Uh, let's do that in a second. Hey folks, welcome back to After Work Gaming. Uh, we're back in observation, just picking up where we left off last time, after it turned out that we, as the AI Sam, piloted the entire station into orbit around Saturn, and we don't know why. Okay, let's continue. Okay, Dr. Emma Fisher, voice print match confirmed. Okay, and she is the only crew member thus far that we can communicate with or that we've located. Okay. Okay. So, Sam, here's the deal. I'm stuck in the EAS arm for now. I think it's related to power, but a lot of the hatches are fully locked down. So, I'm going to try something different here. Okay. That's audio, at least. Almost there. Just a sec. Shit. That's not it. There we go. Okay, Sam. I have rigged a connection sphere for you to use. You should be able to take control of this and fly around the station. It'll let you reach parts of the station your cameras can't see, and it'll let you wirelessly connect to non-station devices, like laptops. There. Looking good, Sam. Okay. Let's see if you can move it. Fly over to me. Okay, here we go. W to go forward. Nice. Great. Now turn around 180 degrees to face me and fly back. Okay. Ooh, whoa. This is a really delicate control system. <laughs> oh, and we can spin. Q and E. Let's go back. And go this way. Well, that means I should be able to go up and down, right? Yeah, there it is. Up and down. Cool. Let's go back. Good. Good. There are more controls for translation and rotation, but I'll let you figure them out. You should still be able to identify objects and relay information to me like any other camera. Try it now. Um, okay. Response unit. The Sphere CO2 refill station is online. Okay, great. That works. Now, you can release yourself from the Sphere and return to your main OS just like before. Try it now. Uh, okay, I can go to the OS. Sphere tracking is online, so its location will be displayed on your station map. To reconnect to your Sphere, you can either quick connect directly from your map, or you can use a nearby module camera to access it. Reconnect to your sphere now. Okay, and this is just... Right. Let's test out your sphere connection systems. Connect to the laptop above the workbench. Once you're connected, attempt to download whatever data is left. There's a laptop above the workbench. This is the workbench. Ah. Let's just go ahead and... Air. Four, two, three. Connected. Oop. Spheres, best practice available. Spheres, best practice. Guidance spheres, best practice. Development and, uh, development, and uh, development and control of microgravity guidance spheres on observation is overseen by Dr. Emma Fisher. Operator interface for guidance spheres can be found through a graphical user interface, GUI, 
that can be located at crew member workstations and is a planned upgrade to the existing SAM system during the observation mission. Guidance spheres are propelled by short, harmless emissions of CO2 and allow the user to inspect and repair both internal and external ship apparatus. Microgravity guidance spheres are still at the experimental stage. And the document's a little corrupted, but that's to be expected because it looked like the laptop was a little corrupted. Fear underscore 01. Okay. And I think that's it. Great. Can't believe that all actually worked. Right. So... The rest of the station is dark, and the horizon arm is running on emergency power. The solar panels give us next to nothing this far from the sun. However, we do have an experimental fusion reactor on board, the EFR. If that can generate enough power, we can maybe get the universal hatches open. See what you can do. I'll try to find a way to contact the rest of the crew. Experimental fusion reactor. Ooh. Uh, before I go in there, yes, let's see the map. Uh, we're in 9, understood. Sphere, this has airlock controls, EAS-11, that's where Dr. Fisher came in last time. We go through 8, we go through 6, 7 is captain's module, we don't need to be there. And we go through 6, we go through 5. We go through three, that's where, um, the crew was, and then the, into four was where the fire happened. You go to two, and this is the EFR. Okay. Quickly take a look at the cameras, what do they show us? Uh, ooh. Anything worthwhile? Document. Hello. Experiment order number 244, alternative power in low light positions. EASA and USES would like to continue the exploration of alternative station power when solar panels are not reliable or in low light environments. It is important that the sample data of each test run is regular, regularly collated. At no point should the EFR be switched to station mode without an executive order and should remain on the test circuits. Nominal range, experimental range. Okay. And then it's just a bunch of figures. Okay, Josh Ramon, who else? February 11, 2026. All right, well, that also gives us sort of a timeline here. Okay, let's zoom back out. What else do we have? EAS-2, that's where that goes. Let's just open the door, 324. And we can only open the schematic because it's locked. Okay, that's not helpful. What else do we have? Mm, not much of anything. Anything up here? No? What about other camera angles? Whoa, hello. Storage bag. Connection sphere required for experimental fusion reactor. That's fine. Is this the document? No, is it a different document? Experimental order 244. No, we already just read that. And is that it? Experimental fusion reactor. As standard, LOS and ROS electrical power systems provide a safe supply of uninterrupted electrical power for observation. Over, uh, that's the name of the station, by the way. Over the course of the mission, however, this will switch over to an experimental system, the EFR. The experimental fusion reactor is a compact deuter deuterium reactor designed for use on board orbital platforms. The EFR is an experimental device that will come online as part of Observation's wider mission and will serve as an energy source for many of its experiments. Although only a fraction of its potential power will be used, inside the EFR superheated deuterium gas is held within an immensely powerful magnetic field where fusion occurs. The device is fully automated, but in the event of emergency, plasma flow can be controlled by local SAM systems via electromagnetic conduits. In the event of an emergency, the EFR can be safely removed from observation systems. By SAM or by a crew member, and existing electrical power systems will return online. I don't think we have existing electrical systems. Okay, let's go back to our sphere. Let's try this, by the way. Can I just... Possess. Perfect. Alright, Doctor, I'm off. 
We are now in EAS 8. Bottom right corner tells us that. Anything worth looking at before I head out into the next spot? No. Although I am slowly, famous last words, getting the hang of piloting this thing a little bit. Okay. This is... This is the first module we saw. Na, 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 na. Password not working. <laughs> okay. Reissue ID tag. Uh, these are sticky notes to people we don't know. And this is all off. Anything to read? Hello. Circuit breaker reset order CAB. Okay, if that ever becomes an issue, we will know. Uh, the one thing is, I can't zoom a camera in this. There is no zoom on this camera. But that's fine, ultimately, I think. Alright, let's head in here. Oop. Give it a little bump on the side. That was my fault. Sorry, guys. Uh-huh. Um... Can I connect here? No, no, I can't. You know what? Before I do anything... Is there something in the crawl space? Ow! Ow! Alright, so maybe I'm not getting the hang of this. Yet. Uh, nope. Nothing in the crawl space. Okay. There's another sticky here. Test 4.53. Sure. Okay, now we are in six. Perfect. Anything worth looking at? I mean, we'll go through each one of these modules again with cameras and just do document everything. But, okay, so we're in five. So we're here, we didn't get in- didn't get lost into seven, that's fine. We need to go to three, then we need to go to two. Perfect. This looks like an electrical, like a camera equipment storage. Hello, RHS arm station. 442. RMS data log, RMS arm usage log, remote connection open, EASA authorization, connected, access granted, initialize, RMS arm initialize. Run operation, EFR payload platform connect to station. William Stafford, passcode, blah, blah, blah. Success, EFR connected to station power grid to be used in event of power failure. Nice. Okay, so that's step one, I guess. Now, we have not actually looked at what our objectives look like. Access EAS-1. Okay, that's not helpful. But it does show us our controls here. Some of them. Okay. Sam, was that you? I think the backup batteries are struggling to cope. Hang on a sec. Oh, okay. I've switched off a few other systems. Seems to have helped. I don't know how much longer this will last. We need the EFR online. Okay, don't rotate. Oops, sorry. There is a document here. Let's take a look. Crew tracker emergency protocol. And we know that there's a problem with our crew tracker. In the event of communication breakdown and our emergency system being engaged, all members of the observation crew must make their whereabouts known via the crew tracker. The crew tracker system supplied to you at handover must stay on your person at all times. It is your personal responsibility to ensure that the device is kept charged and operational. Crew Tracker will provide a constant and direct feed to your location and status into SAM systems. If this guidance is ignored, then report will be automatically logged with with Houston. Note: Crew Tracker sensors are located at the base of each station ARM, where they meet the universal ring. These routers will need to be calibrated regularly for accurate data. Well, I think we know our next next task after we figure out the power situation. Okay, what do we got here? 342. I know I'm getting sidetracked, guys, but I'm just... There's stuff to read. JR to MM Sphere use clearance. One for me, Sam. Hey, 
I'm having to put experiments on hold over here for yet another round of EFR reactor tests, so you're cleared to use the connection spheres after all. They're configurable for external use. I've left firmware QRs in the airlock so you can scan and flash the sphere before you head outside. Enjoy. Message ends. Huh. So that's what those things are. They are QR codes for us. As Sam. Interesting. Okay. Um... No, that's nothing that I think that's just a connection that doesn't exist. Let's continue onward. This is cool. It's over here. Okay, we're in three now. We can go to four, but we don't need to because this, I think, is towards where, their fi where the fire occurred. Yes, it is. In fact, I remember it's where the fire occurred. And we don't need that. We need to go check out this laptop before we do anything else. Oh, and EAS-1 is right there. Okay, so before we check out that laptop, let's go ahead and see what else we have. So that's four. Nobody needs four. What is over here? Hmm? A floating... screwdriver? And Even better. Neat. Okay. It's somebody's little workstation. We have amazing chemistry. Yes, yes, you do. Stories untold poster. Nice. 244. Okay, JR to home. Message for home, please, Sam. Hey, guys, it's like 4 a.m. with you. But we just went by Florida, and I saw Jacksonville all lit up. It never gets old, and... Well, I just wanted to say hey. Things are great up here, and work is going smoothly. Although Houston keeps changing their minds on what they want me to focus on. I'm hoping I'll get more info soon, though. Still, it's all good. Message ends, Sam. Nice. Okay. And I'm assuming those are kids. Not too bad I can't zoom, but that's fine. Okay. Anything else we should look at before we head over to EAS-1? Again, understanding that we are going to come back to all this. What's this? Crew bunks. Oh, okay. Right, 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 because this is crew quarters or close to it. Okay. Nope. That's the bad. That's the that's the bad one. That's the one we don't need to go to. And then it's this one. All right, let's write ourselves. Uh, hatch control. Can I activate it here? No. Let's read this laptop then, and then we'll get into the cameras. One two two. Connect. Yeah. Yes. Hatch schematic. Hello. Tactical diagram of the EAS hatch door schematic layout. This allows okay, the... Okay, you should now be able to refer to that schematic to unlock the hatch via your system links. Use schematic and camera door. Okay, do I have to redraw this? Hold on. And, oh man. Hatch connects all EAS modules as well as connections to Universal. Okay. Can I do anything here right now? No. Let's jump into the cameras then. Oh my god. Hold to view. Oh, I see. Okay. So it's... First, first column, three, third row to... Fifth column, second row. How do we do this? Right? Oh, I see. Maybe it's the first one. Okay, so... Second bottom to... Fourth, third. Okay. And when did it... When does it bend? On the... So you go up three, over two, and up another three. Ow. 
Hatch is locked. Hatch open. Oh, I see. Okay. Hatch closed. Unlock. L3. So it's down there on the fifth, second to last. You go over three, you go up three, you go pat over two. Go like that. Okay. Fifth. All right. Unlocked. Nice. Woof. Okay. It took me a little while to figure that out. Sorry, guys. I need to just learn the mechanics of this game. Okay, so that's the door to e to um, the EFR. Anything else? No, because we looked at everything in here, pretty much. Now... Caution, blah, 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 okay. Oof. It is bright. Okay. Before we connect to anything, let's just take a look here. Exterior payload interface version 2. Enable containment, inject plasma. W through S adjustment, adjust magnet strength. Redirect power, etc. Okay. I have no idea how that thing works. It was something Josh was working on. You're pretty much on your own, I'm afraid. Do what you can, just get it online. Thanks, Doc. Move cursor, select, W through S, adjust magnet strength. Okay, one. Inject the plasma. Woo! I see. System timeout at 45. Okay. You got something? Oh, I see. There's a safe area for everything. Go down. Down, 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 down. Safe. Nice. No, I gotta go lower on this. Safe area. No, we gotta go up on this. 14 seconds, come on. Nice. Come on, come on, come on. Almost, almost. Come on! Shoot. <laughs> okay, but now we know what has to happen. So, enable, inject. Lower, 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 lower. Oop. There we go. Should be higher. Right. This should be higher. Right. This should be lower, obviously. Nice. And this needs to be higher, I believe. No, I'm wrong. Okay, that needs to be lower. And... There we go. Redirect the power. Good job. Thanks, Sam. The power's coming back on now. I'm running low on oxygen, so let's get a move on. Proceed. Okay. 
Oh my god, it's Simon Says. Circle, fork, or, and then the thing that points. W. Accept. Okay, circle, pyramid, two arrows, concentrics, enter. Okay, so circle, check mark, pyramid. you were doing this. If you are doing this, but I need you to help me, Sam. I need to know what is going on. I need the crew. The power is back, but the hatch to Universal is still offline. I need you to find out what the problem is. Sam, give me a systems diagnostic. Okay, let's diagnose. Let's start with EAS-1. Uh, do, 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 do. Online. Connection's true. System connection. System links in module EAS-1 are connected. Let's do something else then. Okay. What about UN? Ooh, here we are. False contacts in UN-1. Module UN-1 hull contact points to EAS-3 are unresponsive. This sounds bad. Okay, so the power is fine, but the hull connection points are misaligned. That we can fix. I can't get them open from here, but you should be able to reclamp the contact points from outside. Looks like you're going on your first spacewalk, Sam. Before you go outside, though, we need to update your Sphere firmware to allow for exterior use. To upgrade, you'll have to scan the barcodes in EAS-11. Once you're fully updated, we'll get you outside. I'm granting you EVA permission now. The internal airlock hatch is now open. Okay. Well... We're going to do that next time, and probably next time we're going to spend a little bit more time flying around, picking up all the information that was in the other modules, and just exploring a little bit before we go outside. And, uh, yeah. Things are getting weirder and weirder, and I am loving every second of it. And I hope you guys are too. Okay? So, if you guys enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, lets me know that I'm doing something right, lets me know that you guys want to see more of this stuff. If you have thoughts about this game, you think I'm missing something, you want me to play this in a particularly different way, by all means leave a comment, and in any case, I'll see you all next time.